All right, next what we're gonna do is look at the keyword search tool within the Alia Inspector software. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at what this does. Now this is probably one of the better tools within the software because it allows you to um, have more, uh, basically more inputs and there's a little bit more data that's extracted for each product. So let's go ahead and take a look now. What you have to do is you have to enter in the search phrase you're interested in looking at in terms of um, uh, products you wanna sell from your e-commerce e site. So let's say for example, I'm just gonna type in toy. <laughs> A lack of anything else to think of here so just toy I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger here and we can go ahead and select a category if we want or just select all uh, the country you want to ship to and there's a pretty much every country there um, your minimum price that you're looking for a maximum price the minimum number of units per lot or units per uh, max units per lot um, or another way of putting it uh, pieces per set or something like that so it's not mandatory, those are optional. Um, you can sort by best match by the top number of orders, the newest ones, or the seller rating. And you can also do price ascending and descending. So let's go by the number of orders, for example. And the number of pages you wanna search. Um, there's about uh, 40 items per page that will be returned in the results. Now you can select these options here if you just want to um, look at uh, items that offer free shipping only or items that uh, have just single items instead of like um, lots or like a whole bunch of pieces in one one sort of uh, a bunch of units in one piece or set or something like that, that you want to get so if you're just interested in getting single items that you can select that let's just go ahead and select the search right now and we'll go out and it's going to go through the top five pages so it should extract around 200 ish or so you see here it almost found a million different items now I highly recommend not like going and searching, um, you know, 100 pages or something like that. That's why I limited it down to 100 pages. You just don't want to be uh, get your IP address blocked, which I haven't yet. You know, it hasn't done that on my computer. But you know, you're searching AliExpress a lot within this tool, so it's a good idea just to narrow it down to be able to try to narrow down your searches by increasing um, the number of keywords in your phrase, um, narrowing it down to exactly what you want, like price range and uh, sorting by uh, if you want free shipping like try to use these features to narrow down the results to find what you need instead of just going out and trying to download you know a million products and just trying to browse through them all that's not a very efficient way of doing things so just about done here great there we go so I got 215 items that it found and we can go ahead and view the different data points that were taken so you got the title the product ID the price uh, the category that you selected, um, the ship to country you selected. Then we've got all the shipping information. Now just like with the best sellers tool, it's the same idea here. So we can see all of the, um, these are the, if the product offers free shipping, this will tell you the free shipping provider. And then if it offers free shipping, uh, what's the free shipping um, provider delivery time? So this would be in number of days. So this particular one's 19 to 39 days. Um, whether or not this product has offers e-packet. E-packet is basically, um, it's just a shipping provider offered in, I believe in China. Um, the e-packet rate, if it's offered, so sometimes it's free, if it says zero here, then obviously it's free. The e-packet delivery time. So if you're in the States, usually um, sellers really wanna just use e-packet. It seems to be the most efficient, so they're always looking for e-packet, and then they wanna see the free ones that are e-packet so you can sort really quickly up here whether or not the uh, the, the product is uh, delivers as a piece a single piece or a bag a pair a set or a lot tells you what kind of unit type the number of orders so the more orders obviously uh, there's been a lot of sellers that are selling this product in their e-commerce sites or wherever they're selling it maybe even offline so <clears throat> that's a good indication of whether or not a product has been selling a lot then the uh, customer rating, the number of reviews, also linked to the store. Now over here we have some additional data that this tool extracts, which is the store feedback score. And so if we go and look at a particular store, you could see the feedback score up here, which is 100 or 1,116, and then it gives you the positive feedback. Uh, percentage the feedback percentage here and that's what you're seeing over here so you've got the score 
as well as the feedback percentage. And that gives you an idea of how well the store is doing. So you can sort by those columns as well, or you can actually use the quick filters as with the other tools. If you want to see everything greater than um, a certain amount, you can clear out the filters by clicking clear filters or right click and delete filters. So each column here that has the little drop down, you can apply these quick filters to it. Now as with the same as the bestseller tool, you can select the search here and you can search within all the columns that contain text and you can just select down here which which columns you'd like to search, instant search within the results. So you just select them all, you got a whole bunch, you can go ahead and just start typing, for example, the word new and all the columns that are um, put into green, those are the columns we're searching in. So if you don't want to look at the other ones, if you just say, for example, you just want to look at that one, you can uh, just uh, inside the title, so new, you can see it just uh, filters as you type, so that's pretty cool. And let's say you want to do multiple um, kind of filters, so let's say I just want to look at items that had the keyword new in the title, but I also want to look at products that are priced at less than 10 bucks. And boom, it'll narrow it down for you. And you want to continue with that. Let's say I want to look at something that has a rating, sorry, orders of greater than, I don't know, 2,000. It'll narrow it down further. More than 1,000 reviews. A store score over 5,000. And you can really narrow it down really quick. And let's say you only want to look at ePacket. You know, 40, 48 cents ship rate is really good for this particular product. So let's say you want to go with that one. Take a look at it. And some sort of baby toys. So that's pretty cool. Now, one really cool feature we have here as well. It's the same thing with, as with the bestseller tool. You can right click and you can download the product images and description as well as the 50 best product reviews that you can import into your Shopify store. So let's go ahead and try this, the download product images and description. And I've created a folder here. I'm just going to go ahead and select that folder. And it's downloading the product data, images and files, and then automatically just brings up your explorer and shows you the files it downloaded. So you got the images and then it went and got the contents and inside here you'll find the title, link, category, price, the specifics of the item as well as the packaging information. And all this information is very useful when you want to import this into your store either Shopify or some other e-commerce store that you have online you're going to need this information as well as the description. If any text was found in the description area it will parse it out here and put it in here as plain text and all the HTML and all kind of stuff are removed. Now I do want to say, like I, I mentioned in the previous video there, that um, it's very, it's highly recommended that you rewrite the descriptions and the title because a lot of times the, the descriptions are written in broken English. Um, a lot of the times the, the people that are shipping the products are actually listing these products on um, AliExpress. Their native language is not English so they may not um, be very good at spelling and whatnot or grammar so it's a good idea to go through there and uh, write it out fresh for um, for your store and it makes your store look more professional you don't want to write broken English on your stores obviously or any grammar problems and plus you want unique content so just rewrite it. it's really simple it really only takes a few minutes to rewrite a title and a description not even you know it's really fast and easy to do but this gives you an idea where to start and sometimes when you open up the product description file, you may not have any information here. It's because the seller of that particular product didn't put any text into the description area. Therefore, there's another file here downloaded, which is the product description in HTML content. So if you just click that, you'll see what the seller put into the description area. All images and HTML is all included in here. And you can get access to that real easily. So let's say if you're using you know, Notepad or something like that, just drag that into a notepad and you'll see it's just a raw HTML and then you can take this HTML and you can just copy and paste it into your store then in your store you can you know edit it and remove things that you don't want you know for example you don't want this stuff there or you don't want uh, uh, you know this stuff at the bottom or or maybe uh, some other things in here you, you don't want to have in your description or wherever you're gonna put it so just gives you an extra little option for you to work with and I do want to show you if you right click and select the best product review. So what this does 
it will go out there so you choose the location you want to save the common delimited file it goes to that product and it grabs the 50 top reviews so the five star reviews and adds them into a file that's specifically formatted to import into your Shopify store so that would that's what that feature will do now if you just go to Google and type in um, how to import reviews or Shopify import reviews like that and then just the first one that comes up should be this article and it will show you how to import um, your reviews into your Shopify store by following these steps here pretty simple so that's how you'd utilize that file and of course if you want to just import them into any other e-commerce uh, platform you, you know you got the data here really quickly so you can come in here and just copy and paste and add them into your store let's go ahead and clear out the filters now if you want to clear out all the data here just go ahead and click the clear it'll ask you if you want to do it um, let's click up the search there you also have the the preview button. So if we hit preview here, it will take all those all the data and create an HTML file and so you can quickly see all the images. So it's really handy to have and you can also do all sorts of stuff here. It's like an interactive file. You can just sort by any column. You can also do an instant search within this as well. Let's say if you want to see all the thing that says new, it automatically just will filter out everything. So that's pretty cool. And as with the other tools, you can click the file here and you can uh, save this as a project file now the project file inside the keyword search tool is uh, unique to just, just this tool meaning that you cannot save this project file then go ahead and open it inside the bestseller tool or the keyword generator tool so this is just specific to this tool so when you save it you can only open up the same file format um, you can also export to uh, CSV text and also export to an interactive HTML file which is basically that same preview file we saw so we do that we can go ahead and save it it'll save it as search report and then if we want to go back to that folder we just saved it at um, as I've shown in the other videos you have these two little cool features here you can open up the last working folder which is the place where you either open the file or save the file that's really handy because you know, you never remember half the time where you save it. Or let's say you save it so deep into some folders in your computer and it takes you a lifetime to find it. That's why I add those tools to my software. It's so it makes it so much easier. So this is the save reports we just we just put there. So all the products are there nicely conveniently formatted into a table. And you can also go to the install folder of your software if you ever want to get there really quickly. So it quickly goes there this is actually my development folder but anyhow it'll take you to the install folder where it resides on your computer if you forget where you installed it some other features which are quite normal are here you do the you can copy selected items uh, selected product links you can auto fit all the columns if you want so you click that it'll auto fit them so you can see all the data really conveniently or you can reset them back to smaller column widths you can um, delete the filters here. You can also search Google for the title of the one that was selected. So you can see here, and this is really handy so you can go out and see if anyone else is selling that product and how much they're selling it for. So that's a really nice tool to have in there. You can also remove the select or remove duplicates if any duplicates were found. There's only one found that was duplicate there. And or you can select or delete the selected rows. So if you have a bunch like this and you're not interested in those, just go ahead and delete those. And then they're gone. Now one other cool feature I want to show you here, I'm just going to go ahead and clear this out, head on over to the keyword generator. So let's say for example you didn't really know what to search for, but you have an idea of what niche you want to get into. So continuing on with that idea of just putting, let's say you want to sell baby toys. So let's say baby toy. That's all you know that you want to sort of sell in. Um, you can just go to the keyword tool and give you a bunch of ideas. So let it go through and um, you can also refer to the keyword generator tool video this, the, where I talk a little bit more about this tool but I just want to quickly show you this feature. So you come here and you want to take a look at uh, you know a possible um, products within your niche of baby toys. So let's just rank by number one and kind of go down here and see something that you may be interested in. A baby toy noise maker. So let's, and then what you can do is you can right click and you can send this directly over to your keyword search tool and it will automatically just go ahead and start downloading 
um, all the products for that keyword within the keyword search tool. So that makes it really quick and real handy. And also all the settings you had already put in here are, are, are set, so it will remember what you did last time. So let's go ahead and just uh, pause that. So if you want to pause the execution of anything in the software, all you got to do is go up here and click the Stop Execution button, and it will stop it. You'll notice that when you're searching, things will be grayed out. That means it's in the process of extracting, and you don't have access to those things until it's done extracting. And now we can quickly see if we want to find any products with, let's say, high rating, or sorry, lots of reviews. Oh, we found one here. Has a pretty good score. Let's go ahead and take a look at that product. Some sort of squeaker repair noisemaker. Oh yeah, these are these little noisemaker things. So anyhow, maybe that's a cool product to get into for e-commerce. I never ever thought of that, but that's, that's uh, quite interesting. So anyhow, that's uh, oops. That's basically how that works. So that's a cool feature to have. So if you want to quickly can't figure out a good idea, then come on over here and use a keyword generator tool and you can really narrow down and find some products really quickly to uh, find those basically those products you really need to put in your, your e-commerce store to make a lot of money. So I believe that's everything I've covered here in this video for the keyword search tool. Thanks for watching.